We came here to escape. Escape our mistakes, our boring selves. Escape the constant feeling of being half asleep. Escape our house. The tedious moan of that garage door. The roof we promised to fix every time it rained. Escape dry heat and coyotes and the roads we knew by heart. We knew where those would take us. In paradise, there would be new roads and new routines, different friends, a different house, a different life. In paradise, we would be different. Chuck had cheated on me with his assistant manager. That was the main reason we left. Her name was Shelley, and Shelley was blonde, and Shelley was everywhere. Every blonde woman in San Diego was Shelley, until something confirmed it wasn't. Wrong car, wrong walk, wrong face. The real Shelley, I never saw her again after the affair, but it was bound to happen at some point. She lived close by. I probably never would have found out if Shelley hadn't called to confess. She just had to get this off her chest, she said. It was eating her alive. She swore it had only happened that one time. She'd quit the job right afterwards to make sure it would never happen again. She was so, 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 so sorry, and she was crying very hard. Chuck was sorry, too. He hadn't been thinking clearly. They'd been drinking. One thing had led to another. He actually said, It's almost like someone else did this, not me. It's hard to explain. I said, But it was you, Chuck. You did this. After 18 years, this is what you did. When the transfer opportunity for Costco Kona came up and Chuck was elected for it, he said, Maybe Hawaii will remind us why we love each other. When he said that, it was hard not to imagine Hawaii in the way it's always advertised. A fit couple at sunset under a neon pink sky. And this was very stupid. I also wondered if it could be us. Later, after the anger passed. Later, after I forgave him. Later, after I could trust him again if any of that was possible. The twins were stoked. That's how they said it, one right after the other. Stoked, Jed said. Stoked, Cam said. They'd miss their friends, but their friends could visit. They'd miss their team, but the incoming coach that year was supposed to suck anyway. Kayla Kehe's water polo coach had been a big wave surfer. That was rad. And they could start surfing. And when their friends came to visit, they could take their friends surfing. It was all just going to be totally sweet. Plus, Mom, Cam said, you love mangoes. There were reasons other than Shelley to leave. I did love mangoes, and I'd only been to Hawaii once when I was ten, which barely counted anymore. I'd lived in San Diego my entire almost fifty years of life, and my days had begun to feel like the same spin in the same hamster wheel. Same postman at the same time, delivering the same bills. Same grocery store, same place I always parked, same minivan under the same tree. I'd been trying to lose the same five pounds for the last thirty years. When had I become so redundant and joyless? Was it normal that everything I did had the same tone as flossing? I don't want to do this, but I should do this. I wasn't ready to call myself depressed. My mother had been depressed and killed herself, and I was nowhere close to that. But I strongly felt I could be happier. Still, a part of me wanted to say no wanted to hang on, wanted to clutch my little hamster claws to the familiar wheel and stay. But I knew I couldn't do that. If I said no, it would prove I had truly lost hope that life could be better than this.